Hey guys, Bridget here. Um, so I want to paint, but I have a problem. I don't know what technique to use, how many colors to use, or what colors to use. So I came up with this little idea. Um, I took, uh, what was it, like a 4 by 6 index card here. Um, these little guys. Hold on. This guy, I cut it into fours to be the size. And you see three cups here. This cup here has all the techniques in them. Okay? All the ones that I know, like the bomb, clean pour, strain of pour, uh, dirty pour, swipe, feather, puddle pour, flip and drag, bottle bottom, toilet paper roll, multiple flip cups, regular flip cup, etc. Chain pull, dirty pour, tree ring. Okay? There's a couple more in there. And then this second cup that I would draw from has um, numbers on them from oh, 2 to 10. This would tell me how many colors I would use. The third cup are the colors that I have. Some of them are still in these bottles that um, I've used. They still have some paint in them. Um, so if I draw one of those, I will have to uh, go ahead and mix them up in a cup like this, which is okay because they come with lids, these little lids here. So, um, and if I draw a color that I am out of, I'll just put it aside and draw another color. So like, I mean, if I draw black, cause I know I'm really low on black right now, I'm, I'll use it. There's only a little bit. You can't hear it. So there's only a little bit in there. But I'll use it. But these are all the colors that I have between my bottles and the partial bottles that I have. Now let me tell you, I may slow down on painting for a little bit as we have a lot going on. Um, I have to take Noba to the vet and have that cyst thingy looked at and possibly removed. That's going to cost us at least $200. And we have to look into putting our older dog down because he's like 12 years old and he's just lived his life. He's been a good dog and that's the vet is only going to charge us 50 bucks for that. And we're also in the process of getting another puppy from Brittany and I have to pay for her to bring the puppy up here so our collab is actually going to be sooner than later I'm excited so um my financial situation is gonna be a little slim right now for my art supplies so it'll be a little, it will be cutting down a little bit. I will definitely make sure I do the Feral Family Fan Club Challenge every week. Because that is a definite for me. And possibly at least one more throughout the week. And the rest of the time I'm just going to have to suffer. Not paint and just clean have everything organized and set up for when Brittany comes. Um, the puppy is only a week old, so we have about seven more weeks before she, Brittany is able to even think about bringing the puppy up. So, um, at least the end of December. So, just got to bear with me. So, because I don't know what I want to do, we're going to draw a technique. All right. I can't see any of these at all. So 
So I'm going to draw one. Put these up. And it's a flip cup. Can you see that? Flip cup. All right. Now we're going to shuffle these up some. And we are going to use, this is going to be horrible if it's a high number. Um, oh, nine colors. Boy, oh boy. Oh, this is going to be a killer. Nine colors for a flip cup. That was just a flip cup, right? Yeah, flip. We could do it. All right. So now I've shuffled these. Shuffled them. I can't remember what order they're in. I don't care. <laughs> Nine colors. This is going to be horrible, guys. But not so bad because it's just a flip cup. We could do that. Okay. So, first color, one, I'm not even going to look at them, one, two, three, four, oh, let's go, five, um, six, seven, eight, and nine, all right. There's that. Let's see what colors we got. This is going to be horrible. <laughs> okay. Um, we have silver hue, which is right here. Metallic Christmas green, right here. Bright red, which I have to mix up. So, oh, that's not bright red. Right here. Metallic Inca Gold. Here. New Shamrock. Oh, boy. Two shades of green so far. Tuscan Teal. Royal Violet, which, um, oh, is that, oh, it is a mix-up. I don't have a lot of it, which is okay. Caribbean. Metallic sterling silver. Whoo! We have four metallic so far, guys. A chocolate bar. So that's not bad. Two of the colors I have to mix up. The chocolate bar and the bright red. Okay. So, I am definitely not doing a base. So we're going to put these colors up. Put them back in the color box for next time. That was interesting. Nine colors for this whole thing. Interesting. Now let's see how crazy ugly this is going to be. Alright. So the chocolate bar. I don't know. I'm not mixing a lot of the chocolate bar. And the bright red. Uh, oh, there's more in that than I thought. All right. So I don't have any of the low trough here that's strained, so we'll just have to be careful. I do about equal parts. Do 
these color uh, with Floetrol and paint. Um, like as I empty a Floetrol bottle, I'll take one of these cups here, fill it up with bottled water and put it into the container and shake it up and I will mix it into this. So if I need to thin out my paints, this is what I use to thin out. It's got more Floetrol and water in it. Okay. So we're just going to mix. I think this technique, like the whole picking thing would be kind of cool. It's like a challenge that I'm setting for myself in some ways for some of them. So I think it would be kind of cool to see how some of them turn out. Now a flip cup with only two colors, I don't know how that would work. But I'm glad I got more than two colors, but nine colors, oh, especially the colors I got. Kind of crazy. So like this is still thick. I'll add a little bit of this water mix. This is going to be crazy because I'm only using an 8 by 10 canvas. Okay. Let's remove... colors and get a canvas. Okay. I am not ready for this mess. I knew out of all the colors I had to draw, I would get a blue because I have literally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen different shades of blue. A little bit of this color, a little bit of that. Not bad. Fourteen. That's a lot though. Okay, so. We have, I'm only going to do a little bit of this and a little bit of that in each cup, in the cup, to flip it. So we have our canvas, I sprayed it with uh, water on the back, okay, and there's the cup, hmm colors that we shall start with because there's two silvers I'm going to put the silver hue first need to get more squeezy bottles Oh, why did I keep the stick in there? Mm, that's brilliant. Let's do some of the red. The metallic Christmas green. Oh, oh, <laughs> we're going to go with the Royal Violet. I have a 
feeling this might be a little muddy, but I'm not going to use a lot of that brown because that's really going to show up muddy. Let's go with Tuscan Teal. I like the teal and Caribbean colors, the blue colors that I have. So we're going to go ahead and do some Inca Gold. Now, we're going to add just a little bit. It did not say how much of each color we had to use because I did not add that. Just a little bit of the brown. And, of course, a drop of brown had to land on the canvas. Ugly. I am not a brown person. So, we'll just smear it in. Okay. Let's go with the Caribbean. Maybe if I can get the lid open. Okay. Two more colors, guys. Two more colors. The new Shamrock. I should probably make it a roll as um putting the colors into the cup will be like in order that i draw them oh that could be scary but let me know what you guys think and now here is the sterling silver it was interesting that i got the two silvers that i have but hey okay guys so we have the nine colors sterling silver caribbean blues uh, the new shamrock, the metallic Christmas green, Tuscan teal, um, royal violet, Inca gold. I'm going to add a little more of the violet. And then our two colors we had to mix up. I have to make the lids for, label them, and do. So here we go. Here goes nothing. Kind of pretty. I don't know if you guys can see the side of the cup. I'm going to go ahead, take the cup, and flip it. Let that sit for just a moment. probably could have used a little more paint but I won't really know more until I pick it up but I shall be fine so I'm gonna poke a hole two holes three holes my poor cup okay Let that do its thing. We're going to put some gloves on. Hopefully this don't come out too muddy. The green, I probably should not have used so much of the shamrock green, but oh well, done already. So I like this purple, so I'm going to try to keep it. So 
So we're going to Now you would think having nine colors would be enough paint, but I did not want to add too much of the colors on, like in the cup, like too much of each color. But look. This actually does not look bad. Shut this light off. Maybe I can see. No. Oh, keep it on. Look at that. You guys see that? I like it. Very cool. Give me a second to torch it. Clean it. See, I'm recording on my tablet, so I don't know how to pause it and do the thing I have to do. So you're just traveling with me, I guess. Well, not traveling, but having to deal with me the whole time. Got to pause and go and sit and go. I am liking this. The first one of doing that whole idea technique challenge thing turned out really cool i was afraid of the brown and that red and the greens making a crappy color let's bring you guys down oh boy this video is already 22 minutes long i apologize but let's Mm, get into focus, camera. Get into focus. Oh, look. There's the pause button. Funny. Let's pause you for a second. I have to try the other light. Okay, the other light is not working. But look at this. It turned out really good. Bring it towards me. I put a new light above my paint station and it, um, it's a fluorescent light and it glows right onto my paintings. But I really like this. Um, let me know what you guys all think. Tell me if I should do this more often with the whole drawn technique and number of colors and the color idea that I have. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified when I do videos or go live. I don't have specific days that I do any of it. I do try to post as much as I can. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I am seriously thinking about doing an Instagram to post these. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching and we will see you next time. Bye.